The Independent National Electoral Commission, INEC, Kaduna State, has organized a one-day post-election reviews of the 2023 general election to tackle recorded challenges for smooth running and better performance of the 2027 general elections across the country. The aim of the review is identifying gaps and preferring solutions to improve future conduct of elections to consolidate Nigeria's democracy. The resident electoral commissioner, Awal Mashi, who was represented by head of electronic operations, INEC Kaduna Husseini Mohammed, said the purpose is to x-ray the successes and failures of INEC in the 2023 elections by strengthening institutional capacity for the discharge of responsibilities and enhancement of processes and procedures. The areas as far as the election process is concerned are relating to three main areas. There are three, three phases in election process. The pre-election activities, the during, that is the actual period for the conduct of the elections, and then the after the post-election period, lighting the major processes, systems, and procedures for the conduct of elections that have taken place and are reflected in the various topics, about 15 subheads that we are now about to commence deliberation upon. And uh, the aim is to come up with things that will impact on future elections. Some of the participants who worked at the just concluded elections say there is need to improve welfare of the staff and immediate payment of compensation to victims during election. In attendance, there are INEC staff, ad hoc staff, including electoral officers and their assistants, heads of departments, administrative secretaries, some presiding officers, collation and returning officers. Ad hoc staff welfare, especially collation officer, I would love to see general improvement. And then in cases of, uh, in issues, in, 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 in case there are some violence in some part of the country, uh, people involved should be compensated in time. Because we have cases, I have a particular friend, this is a personal experience at um, one of the local government, I think Kachia, uh, where they were attacked during uh, elections. Until now, they've not been compensated. Her phone was seized, her bags were collected during that particular election. So hopefully, I think generally, areas of welfare for ad hoc staff should be improved, and then in training also. In successful and peaceful election, we still have challenges. And these challenges vary uh, from logistics to mobilization to so many other factors. We have, of course, we have challenges, including transportation. They have to review their operational uh, standards to improve on it. And of course, this is, is very key because it determines the, the movement, on-time movement of men and materials. And so, what they use, the kind of vehicles they use, the time they uh, bring in these vehicles goes a long way in uh, affecting and affecting uh, the process. Hello, hope you enjoyed the news. Please do subscribe to our YouTube channel and don't forget to hit the notification button so you get notified about fresh news updates.